Now, because of tomorrow night's very cold weather, it has caused officials to postpone our annual New Year's Eve celebration in Austin, Texas. KXAN's Angie Bevan joins us live with more on their decision. Well, Jim, here in Butler Park is where the performances and the vendors would have been on New Year's Eve. And of course, in the Austin downtown skyline behind us, that's where we would have seen all of the fireworks, but that has all changed. In Butler Park, right where the New Year's Eve festivities were scheduled to take place, we ran into Ken Odegaard and Taylor Kriegbaum. They came from Houston to celebrate New Year's. We're just like, we'll just go to Austin. It's easy, three hour drive, day trip, so just an easy thing to do. For the nightlife and the tradition of downtown fireworks. There's 6th Street, there's all the stuff to party, and hopefully the fireworks thing, but I guess not. We're, you know, saddened that we have to call it, but. For the safety of everyone, it's the it's the right thing to do. The city's corporate special events manager, William Mano, says they called off fireworks and events at the park because they didn't want people out on the roads with freezing weather in the forecast. He says the city's working with performers and vendors to still be a part of a rescheduled event. We don't yet know when that will be. Mano says hopefully sometime in January or February. We would rather do it sooner rather than later because as you get further away from Wilson's New Year, kind of loses the effect. Though New Year's Eve comes with its tried and true traditions. Partying, fireworks for sure. Even without fireworks. Changes the plans a little. A little bit, yeah. There are still plenty of things to celebrate. Spending time with friends and family. And you can bet they'll be doing that inside on this cold new year. City officials tell us they budget about $60,000 for the New Year's Eve events down here. They say the contracts with vendors and performers did allow for rescheduling. They don't yet know if they'll lose any money, though, with having to change the date of the event. For now, reporting live in Butler Park, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Here in Austin, a reminder, it is illegal to shoot off fireworks inside the city limits. The same is true in most other series in cities in the area. If you do, you could face a fine of up to $500. If those fireworks damage property or hurt someone, you could also be charged with arson or assault.